This is going to be a short video that's going to show you how you can insert a back button onto any page of a website. I'm going to just use a WordPress blog to demonstrate, but you can put it on any page. All right, so let's go sign into this WordPress blog first. Okay, I'll show you how you can do it at the post level, and then I'll show you how you could actually add it to the template if you want to do it that way. Okay, so let's say we want to put a back button on this page here. Okay, what we'll want to do is go to HTML. We'll go right to the bottom of this page, or right at the top. It depends where you want to put the back button. I usually suggest that you would put it at the bottom if you want to do this. I'll give you some code that will accomplish this for you came with this video just grab this code paste it in here and update let's view the post okay, if we roll to the bottom go back to where I came from and as you see it brought us right back to here now you can also change the text on there as well Okay, so here where it says go back where I came from, you can change that to anything you want. And so that's how simple it is to put it at the post level. You can do it at the page level, wherever you want. I'm going to take this back off here because I don't actually want it on here. You can do the same thing on your blog template if you want to do it that way. What you do, go into Appearance, and let's go to the Editor. Then what you want to do is go to the footer, and you would put the code in here. Now, the only issue is you need to make this file writable before you can save your changes. And what we have to do then is go into the theme folder and change that. So to do that, you would have to either go into the file manager or into an FTP client. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Let's use an FTP client. I'm going to use FileZilla. Let's open up FileZilla. Now I'm going to connect to the server where this blog is located. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to go into WP-Content, Themes, and then I want to find the theme that I'm using. This theme is, let's just go back here for a second, it's called Cell Phone News. And all the themes file located in theme slash cell phone news. So that's what we needed to know out of that. Let's go back to FileZilla. And you go into cell phone news. Let's go to footer. And we want to change the file attributes from 644 to 666, like that. Back to our blog here. Let's just refresh this. You'll now see that we can write to this file. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll get our code. Let's just put that right above what's in here. Let's update the file. Let's visit our site. Let's roll to the bottom. And there it is there. Go back where I came from. That'll be on every page now since we added it to the footer. Okay, so that's how simple it is to add a back button to your site.